No, I didn't Welcome, welcome. Uh, basically, let of Lala me along with school, man, that I can really relax. What a madam, yeah, what a madam, yeah, let him do That's right. Yeah, yes, 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 no, 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 Na la bungul bebe senya rin adun na bungul bebe nyara ndirin komin ibe la fila ila suwe tara nyame ntel grand villa na keliano la la finno wole mu kamati ntel kam na ye sabati grand villa ye la kodo na fa kalamata This is like a paradise. I know. I so much love this place. Yes, thank you, thank you. Trust me, I love this place. Yeah. Yeah. I love this place. Oh yeah. Nilafta na kuo keso sotola. Futama Oljundum Paradise Estate. By your commander okay. Seven five two seven two one eight. Wale futana website auto www.grandvillaguesthouse.com. Grand Villa. Guest house. Stewart and Co. Solicitors, a legal excellence firm in London that can help you with all aspects of your legal work. If you are looking at immigrating to the United Kingdom, Stewart and Co. can help you to set up business, buy houses in the UK, and will deal with all your legal works from start to finish. For all your general immigration work, we can help you with that as well. If you apply for any form of visa, whether student visas, settlement visas, married visas, or a child wanting to come to the United Kingdom to settle with the family, we can help you to achieve your goals. Stewart and Co. Solicitors, a legal excellence firm specializing in conveyance, immigration, litigation, family law, personal injury, licensing, no win, no fee. Contact us today at www.sk-solicitors.com Dreaming of owning a property in a prime location with great proximity and fantastic neighborhood? EJ Investments Sanyang Seaview Estate is the best choice you have been waiting for. Our Sanyang Seaview Estate is approximately 15 minutes drive away from the busy hop of Brusubi roundabout and into the heart of nature where you can have a peaceful and relaxed lifestyle with your family. You can buy a finished four bedroom story with five year flexible payment plan or a service plot with two year payment plan option. With over 300 homes, you will enjoy big tar roads with covered drainage, modern electrification with solar street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and a breath-catching experience of our beautiful sea view and lake view. You can own a home today at our Sanyang Sea View Estate. Call us today on 446-4838 or 325-9220. Visit our website on ejinvestments.net. EJ Investments, first in property. Alright. Honey, did you remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions? Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes. But don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rates. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money.
welcome to this special interview with me, Mustafa Davo. Um, with me here is the Works Minister, Mr. Bai Lamin Job. Um, Mr. Lamin Job, this interview is particularly on the Banjo project. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, this project was launched in February 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, could you share with us some uh, little details? How, how did it come about? Anyway, uh, uh, this project, I mean, I can say started even, uh, I mean, at the time the, uh, the government came into power. When I was appointed as a minister, as a minister, this was one of the first projects that was mentioned to me, or the situation of Banjo was one of the first things that the president mentioned to me that they should look into. And this is February 2017. And it's been on in terms of our review, in terms of our evaluation of how we can approach it. It was around September 2018 that government uh, became really adamant that we have to do something. And uh, task us to look at the possibilities of how to implement the uh, situation of Banjo, how to implement a project that would address the problem of Banjo. Now for me, Banjo uh, at that time was symptomatic of what was wrong over this country. The capital was in a state of chaos. I mean, the infrastructure, the systems, like the road, the drainage, the sewage, we were all at a very critical stage. And we had fears that if we don't address the situation, we might even end up with an outbreak of cholera or something. I mean, if we didn't address the situation. And uh, as you know, to implement a project, there are many stages that we have to go through. And it could take time. So we exploit ways and means of expediting the situation. And we had to look at our local resources, what, what we can do from within. Because we knew if we had to go about it in the traditional way of looking for a donor, uh, you know, uh, floating tenders and what have you, it may take almost one year or two years to implement. And we didn't have that time. So we resort to, as we say, uh, normally into a tissue to arrangement. Let's do it on our own and do it fast. And we looked around and saw that the only maybe company that we can work with, a local company, was Guy Enterprise. They had the increment and we thought they had the muscle. I mean, they were the biggest uh, in the sector. So we started negotiating with them. And for me, what I did was to bring all the stakeholders BCC, even the fire service, uh, and the MA, the environment, Minister of Health, and we brainstorm on what we can do. And from those discussions, we formulated a cabinet paper and presented the cabinet paper, highlighting the situation of Banjul, highlighting what the dangers are, uh, and also highlighting what we think should be the way forward with the project. So before I come into what is entailed in the cabinet paper that we've, we've sold to the cabinet, the mm -hmm. paper we've sold to the cabinet, um, our understanding, of course, this was also confirmed by officials, was right. that was that <coughs> guy wrote a proposal himself mm -hmm. and sent it to the office of the president, and mm -hmm. there after. Uh, you were required to present a cabinet paper. Well, I mean, this is all, you know, the sequencing of it, I mean, may be off, according to what you say. Because the problem was all known within the ministry, out there, at the president's office. Of course, we required the initiation of president's office to say that, go ahead and look into this issue. And we already have notification from uh, a local enterprise that they have the muscle to so do. they came up with the project? No, no, not Guy came up with The project was before Guy it came up. If, so, if you listen to what I was saying, yeah. this was from the start when the president, Adam Oboro, 
took over. One of the first things, our first meeting, he mentioned by he said he was very much concerned and is one of those areas I should consider. Not only Banjul, there were other projects, but Banjul was one of them. But in a statement mm -hmm. uh, to the media, uh -huh. the office of the president mm -hmm. uh, did say mm -hmm. um, that they have um, and they have received a letter of intent of course, from Guy, yeah, yeah. and this was in September around there about. And in September, they wrote to you mm -hmm. at the Works Ministry. Um, late, September uh, 2018. But well, the discussion was since February 2017. Yeah. So they wrote yes. to you in September 2018. Yes, they wrote to. Of that letter, yes, they wrote to us. Asking you to draft a cabinet paper. Yes. So the, the idea. No, um, not to cabinet paper. To look into the proposal from that. Not to write a cabinet paper. To look at the proposal of Guy. Uh, yes. Okay. But um, mm -hmm. in, in terms of um, the cabinet paper before you drafted it, um, you must have reviewed Guy's. Have you reviewed Guy's work? Oh, yeah, of course. We, in fact, Guy's, guys, uh, work was not so much. They only said they have the intention and they can, uh, you know, uh, work on the project. But it was not so much of information that ga they gave us. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, mm. So, I mean, I, I want us to take this little little back again mm. um, because mm. this letter dated September 13. Yes. Um, mm. Was sent to you from the office of the president, mm. and uh, what they were requiring. Mm. Um, was that they said as a local construction company with record of executing similar work mm. projects in Banjo, mm. the approval has been granted for the company to provide the following documents for the consideration of your ministry mm. and other stakeholders. Yes. And those were the details, study and design, project implementation, and, and the list goes on. Mm. And so this is what informed the cabinet paper you've worked on. Now, that's, in fact, that's what I'm saying. Uh, this project did, was not triggered by that. This project, I, I understand. Yes, the project was not was tri triggered by the president's, president's concern, concern, concern since 2017. Since coming to Yes, power. and this was something that came on board. On board. Whilst after we had been sent a letter yes, of intent. Yes, because after Because the office of the president clearly said here, this no, officer no, has received okay, a letter okay, of intent. Okay, letter of intent. And, and then said document, let us review. Yes. Now, what we found out that guy didn't have any design. Guy didn't have any document, so to speak, that we could even look at. There was only intention and in writing. That's why we had to call, after we got this notification of Guy's intention, we had to call all the stakeholders and said, look, the problem is this. The stakeholders are? BCC, local government, uh, NAWEC, uh, Gamtel even, uh, NDMA, Minister of Health, uh, who else? How about NRA? NRA and NEA, Environment. They were all in our working group to look at the problem and to consider this. this, this Are this, they represented the by their managers or board? Uh, well, they were different. There were several meetings represented by different people. Not necessarily by their managers. Sometimes their managers, sometimes not. And 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 uh, we brainstorm on the issues from the different uh, perspectives, or the, from the perspective of the different sectors. And that's how really that cabinet paper came about. Okay. Yes. So, so um, after the cabinet paper was. Mm -hmm. um, drafted i'm so you must have uh, put in their details mm -hmm. um, that would inform um, that would inform the decision of cabinet members of course uh, what information have you presented to the well as you can easily guess we describe the situation and we describe what it could turn out to be the deplorable nature of Banjul, uh, and uh, we suggested that we need to act 
I think the core of that, the message we gave cabinet is that we cannot drag this. Because if we drag it... There is an urgency. Yeah, there is an urgency. And this is the only feasible way we see, given all the options we have reviewed as a group. Let's engage this person. He's a Gambian. He has the equipment. But you see, most, most of the time people are talking about just guy. What they are always omitting, which is very interesting, is that our proposal is not only about guy to address the problem. We also proposed an international farm. And right now, it's, international. Yes, it's not only guy that's there. Yeah, so I will come to study international yes. because they are the ones who are going to be exactly. consulting farm according uh, to your yes. ministry. Yes. Um, but um, when the cabinet was mm. deliberating on the issue, mm. Mm. they must have had, they must have relied on a particular information. Like for instance, this is the strength of guy. This is why I think he can do it. Yes. This is the state of the work. Yeah. What document did you present to the cabinet? No, cabinet, you, well, you have to write a cabinet paper and you have to put it across in a very comprehensive way. In fact, there is a format, there is a template that you present a cabinet paper. It should capture all these things you are asking. That cabinet paper captured all these things. All the details. W all the details. What the problem is, what the solution is, and who we are proposing to do it, what? why we want to do it this way, that is going to be an EPC. And an EPC is engineering procurement, procurement and construction. We will come to and, that later. And this and is the first time yeah. we have implementing that kind of project. We, we will come to the technical terms yes, later. Yes. Um, uh, but your ministry, when your ministry drafted the paper, what, what time? The cabinet paper was presented at what time? The cabinet paper, I think, was presented about January, around January. January 2019. 19, yes. Um, 2019, I, I, I think. So the cabinet paper was presented in January 2019. Mm. Um, and what did the cabinet say? They, in its entirety, they approved it. They endorsed it. They endorsed it. it. Yeah, they endorsed it. They said, but go the, ahead. The, the question is, does the cabinet have the capacity to review a project proposal? Well, are you questioning the highest executive body in no, this country not, to not to, to the highest executive body? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm, That's, I'm, I'm asking about uh, their technical capacity. Well, I am their, you know, advisor, and they are, you know, there is the minister of environment is technical, a minister of finance, and in this, in fact, this project, maybe you are only seeing the contract, but there are two components to this project. There is the technical aspect. There is the financial aspect. And the minister, minister of Finance was there. I, I know about yeah. the technical. Yeah. The NEA, National Environment, is there. And the Minister of Local Government. National Environment Agency where? In the cabinet, do you mean? The Minister of Environment, yes. The Minister the of, of Environment, environment yes. sorry. It's there. So, so really, the cabinet has the full comprehensive technical capacity to look at it and make a wise decision. Ah, I have spoken to some very senior government officials, mm -hmm. um, some at the level of auditor, audit, some okay. auditors who told me mm -hmm. that cabinet could only have relied on technical advices from technical institutions like NAWEC, NRA, and others to approve this. But cabinet in itself may be the highest decision making in the body in the country, but it does not have the technical capacity. No, then you don't to, know, to, to then, you know, then you, whoever was saying that doesn't know the process, that cabinet. Usually when you write uh, a cabinet paper, you send it in advance before the deliberation. And these ministers, all of them have these people, NAWEC, in their ministry, whom they would you know, uh, consult with before they come to cabinet. In, in other words, you don't take a cabinet paper to cabinet just like that. You have to send it in advance. Um, so this process you are saying must have taken place. So, um, of course, you said earlier that you've consulted NRA, NEA, local government before you worked on the... The, the document. It, the, well, the document was more or the less. The contract document, who worked on it? Is it you or the guy? Guy construction? No, it's us. Guy has never done EPC. No, but I mean the contract the document. Contract, the contract, he's never done an EPC contract document. They don't even, he has never seen okay, it before. So the contract document and the credit facility were done by your uh, 
the contract document for the EPC was done here and the credit facility document was done by Minister of Finance. So, uh, you must have relied on previous works by Guy Construction to mm -hmm. award this contract. Of course. What works were they that they did? That? Let me tell you about myself. I was the first director general of GAM Works. GAM Works, I know that. Of and all of these contractors, local contract, I know them. So I know but, what but they what specific, are capable mm. of and what they are not capable of. But what specific information did you point the cabinet to to say, well, they did this, and I believe they Well, can I, I can tell you uh, a lot of things that he is not around the country. Could you say what? Roads in, in Banjul. Even the roads they are doing, some of the roads he is doing now, he's done about three or four before on the gun works, which I'm aware of. And then, when, and, and then when I became a minister and there were uh, <coughs> firefighting projects that we had to do to bring this country into normalcy, one of them was the, for instance, renovation of the state house and the president had to be moved and things like that. This guy that did it and I was watching. And so who, who awarded that contract? That was that works. Yeah, that was. The uh, was in 2017. That was when the president was at the. Yes, he was in in in, in the vice hotel. Then then the no before president. that in the hotel, he, he that was, was at Cairo. Awarded by your ministry. Yes, that was my ministry. Before I came, they have already selected. And when I came, I told them, yeah, he can do it. Okay. Yes. So, um, but um, mm -hmm. I'm saying the, when I looked at guys' records, mm -hmm. the highest number of the amount of money that like contracts have seen, the mm. magnitude, mm. they are in 27 millions, in mm. 30s. Mm. But there is no one close to even 200 million. This is no, one no, no, this billion. Is, this is, no, no, this is where the whole pro problem is with the perception of this contract. And EPC, the contract that you signed, the money that is mentioned there is just a budget. It's not as if we are going to give you this money. This money can only be dispensed of towards the project of things that you've completed. If it's about hundred dollars, that's what you get from that budget. In, in other words, that billion dollars you are saying, or billion dollars you are saying, is not something that we are giving to Guy. This is the budget for the project to rehabilitate Banjul. And so far, he's the one who has volunteered to no, pre-finance. to the contract minister, mm -hmm. Guy will pre-finance. Yeah. Pre and then you pay. After, yeah, yes, right? we pay. And so, the, so you are giving him the money after, no, he, well, after, after he spent yes, his own money? After he spent his money on something that our consultant says he has done. So what do you say? So uh, are you worried about the quantity of money that goes to Guy? Is that the issue here? The taxpayers maybe? No, no, but the work. We are more interested in fixing bio. And fixing manual, that's what it's going to cost. Guy just happens to be a player in it, but it's not for him. Um, I spoke to people who were in cabinet in January. Um, yes. Like uh -huh. Usain Udabo and others. And okay. what they told me mm -hmm. was that this issue was mentioned in cabinet, but there was never any deliberation. Mentioned in cabinet, no. It was I, mentioned, you no, mentioned no, it, I, no, no. but let there me, was let never me any deliberation or any detailed no, information No, I, I, I have a lot of respect for Zeno. You know, he, uh, and I, I will not, you know, uh, reuse that in any way or form. But, uh, you know, the cabinet process, as far as this project is concerned, was done as usual, presentation made, Discussions done, then a cabinet conclusion and after. Was there. Yes, Hussein was there. In but fact, he quizzed me on few things whilst we were. Well, that's what he said. He said uh, he asked you, uh, "Isn't there any available option for other people to also be involved in this?" And you said no. Now, now I am not going to take your. Uh, this is hearsay that he told you. You know, unless he's here, let us not debate this. But okay. he, did, he did say that. Uh, he told you he did say, but you know, was, let's. And not only. No, 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 no,
Um, yeah, just ask me direct questions. So then what do you say to the suggestion that there was no deliberation? It was you how can you have it? how can you have a cabinet paper without presented a cover without deliberation? It's not it's impossible. Now I mean detailed information to say. No, no, come on. The, look, the process is you send a cabinet paper to all members before. They have opportunity to consult with their own departments and whatever. Then cabinet meets is an item in the agenda and you present it. And in fact, most of the time you read all of it. And then one after the other people will quiz you and then you answer about their doubts. And then cabinet would agree or disagree with your paper. And then that's communicated to you after. In fact, the communication of this, this uh, cabinet paper came almost two months after the conclusions. Yes. So two mo almost two months later, this, yes. this project was launched in February 2019. After the cabinet paper was, was presented and approved, which was in January, then in February, president approved by. Uh, then it April. would not be almost two months after. No, no, it I'm saying the cabinet conclusion. I mean, the paper that the secretary to cabinet write to you. Mm. you. You know, you were there, it's approved. But there is always a paper that the secretary to cabinet presents to you, sent to you. And that's not an approval. The approval had already been preceded by. No, no, it's just informing, it's just information. That's just for your records. communication. Yes, for your records, yes. That's what I mean. It's not as if the project was launched with, without the approval, which is something I think you are trying to drive at. Drive at. No, not necessarily. Yeah, yeah. We will come to that when I, when I get to that. But um, yeah. um, what do you say to the suggestion that guy does not have the capacity to do this? Well, who the is saying that? Who is saying? You know, uh, well, the guy as far, no, as look, a as far, I, I just told you, mm. as far as people in this con country are concerned and involved in the sector, I don't think there is anybody more competent than I am to make a decision like that because oh. of my experience. No, no, I, it's not a question of even bragging. I know the sector. I have grown with it. In fact, I have been involved almost eight years trying to build the capacity of the sector. And I know almost all the contractors, all the consultants, in okay. especially the local ones. I appreciate that. So I, if, somebody, if somebody is saying <laughs> out there that, look, guy doesn't have the experience, this is an opinion. Mm. But whether that opinion is a fact, is another thing. I appreciate yes. the experience. Yeah. When you are awarding contract, mm. do, you look at, do you consider looking into the financial wherewithal? Of companies, of course. I'm sure the Minister of Finance, when they were uh, discussing with Guy about the financing arrangement, they look into all those. The things. companies share capital. Are yes, they all, all. I'm sure they look into all those things. I am certain. Do you know how much Guy? I, I don't know. Do, when Guy Construction, when were they established? I know when I was in Gun Works. No, not the, Enterprise. The guy the construction guy. is the one that won the project. Yes. The guy Enterprise. I I I don't uh, well. For Guy, his outfit, I knew about them since when I was. Whether it's Guy Enterprise, Guy Construction, I know he had a mm. construction outfit. Well, Guy, mm. guy Construction, I can tell you, mm. was established in May 2018. Mm. Well, whatever, I don't know. But he's been involved. With a share capital of 10 million. Yes. You think they could handle this? Of course. They are. Well, the Minister of Finance thinks so. And I think so, technically. Yes. Why do you, what, what's, based, what's that based on? Well, based on what they have in terms of equipment, in terms of personnel, in terms of their management uh, capacity that I've seen, in terms of implementing projects. Well, the project they are supposed to implement, mm. it's 27 plus million dollars. That, no, 36.720 million dollars. Mm. Uh, that's about 1.8 billion. Mm. And you know, guys, no, but, over but, in 2018. No, no, but I tried to explain to you, and I don't think you are listening to me, yeah. that the figure you're quoting about the rehabilitation of ba come in bulk. The, uh, rehabilitation of Banyul yeah. is, uh, in other words, you think is so much that guy cannot. No, let's divide it into six years. Mm. In six years, if you divide that money in six, mm you are having over 300 million plus. Mm. 
To fix banjo. To fix banjo. Now you are looking. You your your you focus are... is just guy. You know, no, no, really. No, not on guy. My focus yeah. is on the contract, mm. the awarding of the contract, and guy. Of course, guy is an integral part of this process, mm. right? So I, mm. we are talking about its capacity right now. Mm. So and I know mm. that their turnover in 2018. So you was, are you are little, making you are trying to make an in order was your argument you are trying to I'm argue not that arguing, I'm asking questions. As, no no you are putting a statement uh, which says that guy doesn't have the no, no, capacity. No, no. Now let me take you back. Mm. You know because the problem here is that this country has never experienced an APC contract. This is the first one. There has never been an APC contract. I appreciate in that. I appreciate and that. that. And, and that APC contract, you have to, you cannot think it in the same context as a no, normal I'm not, contract. No, I, I'm not now, saying the, that. The, the what I'm saying, sir, is, is what? that the company is tasked to pre-finance, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That is to say, you're going to spend your money, then later, one year down the line, we come give you that money. Of right. what you have no of, of what, what you, you have, have done yes. yes within yes. your capacity so if so the have, question of capacity doesn't arise no, at all no. you are giving him uh, the work uh, on uh, assumption uh -huh. that the amount you budgeted and the work you targeted will be done within a specific period of time yes so you five expect years. that he would five have, years yes so yes. you expect uh -huh. that he would have carried out the work and you would have paid him the yes. amount of money yes. you budgeted yes. yes that's the question i'm asking yes so i'm asking uh -huh. this gentleman's Guy Construction, not mm. Guy Enterprise. Mm. Guy Enterprise is a limited liability company. Mm. Sole proprietorship. Yes. No, sole proprietorship. Well. Guy Construction is a limited liability company. Mm. Ex established in 2018, mm. May. Mm. Almost June, May 31st. With a share capital of 10 million. I am you, asking, you are, you, uh, Okay, yeah, am let me asking, leave you to... Do they have the capacity? Mm. Because you could not have said there was any world record that guy construction as a company did. Now, uh, you, you know, I think we are talking at cross purposes. Because for, I have been trying to kind of indicate to you that one, this is a project that we needed to do fast. Two, we had to rely on local resources. There was no way of going to the donors or asking for, you know, a, 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 an external contractor to do this. We had to rely on our own. And our own happened to have been guy. And the own, does it, the own uh, have no, the no, capacity? Wait, I mean, That's I, the like, no, 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 just listen to me. Now, to avoid all these issues you are saying, we said we are going to do this in an EPC contract. And an EPC contract is really quite different from the normal conventional contract where the issue of does he have the capacity to do all the project is does he this okay the epc is That's just the saying, most vital question no, no, epc no, 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 because no, no. it's pre-financing you cannot pre-finance if you don't have the money but he's working he has the money he's working he's been working since may and doing the work which means he, and he we have not paid him one button he has mobilized his resources, I mean, in terms of equipment, in terms of people, in terms of materials, and he has not asked government even for an advance payment. So where is the, 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 the concern about, uh, you know, uh, capacities? And as far as we know, all the things that he, had to, he has to do technically, he's doing. So really, you are, your question is hypothetical. You are saying, well, given the information we have that he was uh, created in 2018, this man shouldn't have the capacity. It's hypothetical. For us, what we have evaluated and the, uh, the vehicle we have created, I mean, uh, it's adequate and it's been working. And we hope it will work. In fact, I will tell you one thing. This project, we, we are regarding it as an experiment. An experiment which we want to succeed. If we but succeed, minister, it's, no, no, it's if, quite a risk to experiment. No, no, with no, no, no wait billion. a minute. We are not risking anything are because we only pay. No, ex the, the approach is an experiment because this is the first time we are relying on ourselves to do things. In fact, that is one of the points that most Gambians are missing about this project, and they have assaulted it because maybe 
only Gambians are involved. They, they have not seen any Chinese, they have not seen any Lebanese, they have not seen any, it's just Gambians. And one, they suspect that it's dirty, because only it's Why Muka. do you think they suspect it's dirty? No, no, that's the nature of, the, that's a, almost a culture here. To suspect I mean, what, that to, things to, are dirty? Yes, that's almost a culture now. In fact, I think, I will give you my theory of it. I will be very brutally frank with you. I think these people, the people of this country have been suppressed for a long time. They have not been able to vent things. And all of a sudden, this is open up. We have opened up. We have gained our freedom. Now, if you gain your freedom, you have to start hitting. The only target available is the government now. You think the criticism against the project is unjustified? Very much so. so in fact, let's go to in the fact, I thought, yeah. I thought this was a project that we should be proud of. Celebrating. Celebrating because for the first time we are not begging anybody to do anything. Well, let's go to the rules. Yes. Um, rules. EPC is merely a semantics. It's it's just no 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 no. I, they, no 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 no. It's not a semantics. Oh, let me put to you my proposal. They, no, it's not let a let semantics. I disagree my, totally. It's oh, not let me semantics. put to you my proposal. Yes. Uh, procurement in the Gambia has laws, right? Of course. What can circumvent those laws? There is no circumventing of any laws here. So why was a project mm -hmm. of this nature not tendered? As I said, we don't have money. You know, when no, you... I, I, don't know if you don't have so, money... You no, have no, you are now you are arguing about it, okay, okay. EPC, that it should not happen. That's what the argument is leading to. But the EPC happened all over the world. It has been happening before you, oh. before you were born even. So it's, some, it's a reality. It's just that it is for the first time this country is experiencing it. And it is for the first time this country is looking inwards and trying to do things on its own. EBC is not a semantic. Uh, so, so let's look at the procurement law. Now, uh, proc no, there, there are laws governing procurement, mm -hmm. Minister. Yes. And these laws are not to be circumvented by uh, semantics, right? Use of, <laughs> like, say, because to say it's pre-financing, mm -hmm. uh, there are many suggestions that say you could have put out your proposal out there and wait for potential investors, wow. constructors, mm. construction companies mm. to come. Mm. Is there anything wrong with that? There's nothing wrong, but I just explained to you, and I think you are not hearing me, that we were faced with a situation that required urgent and expedient measures. But urgent and expedient no, no, so, so, no, 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 but, of but, tender. No, no, but I think you've made up your mind that there's something wrong with this project. No, no, no I no, haven't. No, no, actually, I'm only asking questions. No, no, it's you are not. Job. You are not. You are not asking only questions. You are making statements like EPC semantics and all that that we are circumventing. EPC simply uh, means engineering, procurement, and construction. Yeah, and it's semantics. I you read think so. enough about it. And you think it's semantics. What it simply means yeah. is that you give me your work, mm. I do it. I come give you when I'm finished. I come give you my. My, your money. No. That's well, not an excuse to single source, is it? No, 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 no. EPC is turnkey, and turnkey projects have been always existing. And always what, existing, does everywhere. Does turnkey mean single sourcing? No, no, you are, you are now reverting to something else. No, because the project was single source. No, no, single source. You can only single source if you are allowed to. Single source happens. Yes. It always happens. Yes. In fact, in the procurement laws that yes. you are talking Which about. Which I have here. No, no, procurement laws that you are saying also allow single source. But you have to have the, for this project, we had to, in fact, I think it's one of your questions. Yeah, but you. The GP, did we. Did we approve GPA? Of course. No, we, GPPA was not involved. Who told you the that? The managing director of uh, GPPA is on record. Mm -hmm. Here, I can play it for you. Yes. Tell him me. Uh -huh. He only got to know about this project uh -huh. after it was launched. So they were not involved. Uh, after it was no, launched. No, wait a minute. After it was launched or yes, after, after the contract was... was after uh, the project was launched. No, then, then there's... That means you've already awarded the contract. You no, could not no, have no, launched no, a project no, no, without no, awarding... Mr. Davo, let's, let's be fair to the questions. That, okay. Uh, you know. Certainly, certainly. No, no. In fact, I would ask you after this interview, if you don't believe me, to uh, go and visit my peers and ask no, him... No, it's not my no, goal no, to believe no, you. No, no, no. It's just no, my no, no, Let me just tell you. Sir. Go to my peers and ask him for the GPA... Uh, uh, you know, uh, how do I say it? The endorsement. Act. 
when we wrote to them to say that we are doing this and this and this, and uh, according to the procurement requirement, we want when you... When was that? No, I, I couldn't tell you the details. I don't know the details, but as, I'm but you giving you the, the right to go to, the, to my peers and ask him to show you. No, but because June, I know we could not sign that contract without that. But in June, in June this mm -hmm. year, mm -hmm. you told National Assembly members mm -hmm. that tender in EPC is not the customary practice. That is why you did not tender it. That's from you. So, so what's your point in that? That means you didn't tender it. Yes, of single, course we didn't that, tender it. That's what single sourcing means. Yes, and that's what single sourcing means. No, no, we were talking. Now, look, let's be fair. Or else, you know, we have to stop this exchange. You are asking about sole sourcing. You are asking about whether GPA was concerned. Well, you know, and I'm telling you that the GPA, before we sign a contract, launching a pro signing a contract, we had to have their endorsement. We had to go to them to justify the project, why we are sole sourcing. And they agreed and said, okay, we understand. But then what so, did you so, mean so when you... What, so this, what did I mean? What, what did you mean when you said to the lawmakers that this project was single sourced? Tendering is not a practice in this kind of project. Yes. So what's wrong? So what then is, where's GPU the contract? Was, then GPU, GPPA what, could not have been involved. No, no. Are you, are you saying I'm lying to tell no, you that no, we wrote no, to them? No, I'm not saying you... No, then what I are your point? What is no, your point? I'm saying... The point is we wrote to GPPA because we are sole sourcing. To tell them that we are sole sourcing. And to... And what did they say? And to justify it. And they say, okay. That's what I'm telling you. If you don't believe me, go and well, consult well, my... Uh, well. Well, well, that's okay. I mean, it's your words against Ambedus. But um, I'm no, 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 no. It's not my. It's, it's your responsibility now to check our uh, with our peers. Well, what you said to yes. lawmakers is enough for me. Uh, okay, then. Um, so let, let let's look at the laws. I mean, if you look at the laws, I am not a lawyer. No, I know, I know. I'm but not this, a lawyer. The procurement laws you were. No, you no, work I'm as not a lawyer. Gum, gum gum works. Works. I'm not a lawyer. You're one of the most experienced mm. people in this country. But you said, look at the law. You yeah. are not talking yeah. about construction yeah. sector. Yes, but you have dealt with procurement-related issues in years, yes. decades. Yes. In decades. Yes. So you are okay with GPPA regulations. Yes. Obviously. Yes. So what I am saying is, I'm on the list of things for single sourcing yes. in the GPA regulations. Yes. EPC is not one of them. <laughs> no, in fact, to tell you the truth, mm. and I kept repeating, but you're not hearing me, mm. that EP, this is the first EPC that this country has launched. In fact, to t in fact even PPP, public, uh, private public partnership, arrangement in, 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 in the uh, contracting business is not even covered by the laws as far as procurement is in this country. That's why there is a policy that government, you know, uh, launched, and I think it's about to expire, even during the previous government, to kind of give us a guidance of anything that's outside the present, I mean, procurement laws. The procurement laws that we have now are inadequate. That's why you circumvented. No, don't, no, don't put words about circumventing. And, because circumventing is not a nice word. It's pejorative. It, it means you are trying to do something wrong. You know, but it's then, not a then, nice then word. No, 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 let me tell you. We are faced with a situation where we recognize, even government, even the previous government recognized that the procurement laws that we have are not adequate but for the situation. But laws are laws, minister. No, no, we, we, and they, they cannot be changed, they cannot be amended, they, they cannot can be, be reformed. They can be amended, but it's not amended as far as this project is No, it's is been, I, I just told you, and you have to listen, to, to move from the situation with limited laws, government created a policy. That's the reason why you have the PPP unit in finance, Minister of Finance. And what does that unit And the mean? unit is looking at contracts or proposals or procurement that is not within the present ambits of the laws and using the policy that government has in place you can go and ask for this policy it exists what uh leeways have been set out set out to accommodate these new developments and i please 
uh, you can visit the PPP unit. And I certainly can, will. Yeah, I, 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 I and certainly they will advise you I, I about said, what the, I am they aware are preparing. Of the unit at the yes, and, and they are preparing an act that would expand and accommodate the present but situation. But do we agree for now uh, that this photocopy page of GPPA, mm. the GPPA Act, which mm. I have here with me, mm. is for now the law governing procurement in this country. This one. So you you have no, not I'm heard you are, now. You have not heard what no, I said. I had. No, you no, said no, no, there no, is no, a no, policy no, unit. No, you said PPP mm. is working on a policy. No, it's, no, they are a unit. They are existing and they have a policy. But they, they the are existing not policy. They are not low. No, no, but this no, one no, is let, a Mr. Dabo, let's yeah. let's let's argue fairly or let's exchange fairly in the interest of you know improving our understanding yeah. uh, of, of things. Yes. You are insisting that there is a law existing about procurement. No, I'm not insisting. And, and, and I, am, I am saying I, am I agree saying, with you. Yes. I agree with you, but you have to recognize that government has understood that there are limitations about the existing laws of procurement. They cannot they, change it. No, laws are changed every day. But they have not changed it. As far no, as no, we are no, concerned, government... No, no, but wait a minute. Let me finish. Let me, as course. they say okay. in this country, let me learn. The situation has been changing. The situation has been changing. And the laws are not upkeeping to it. They are not at par. So what government did as a halfway measure was to come up with a policy to supplement these laws. To say now, okay, this law doesn't address PPP, PPP doesn't address EPC, but let's put a policy, let's set up a unit that will review this kind of arrangement. And but that's a policy. Yes. A policy to cannot, support, no, cannot, no. cannot circumvent a law. You don't no, like no, the we, word, but a no, no, you, 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 you like the word circumvent. Okay, it. Eh, okay. Let, <laughs> maybe no, no, my grammar is too limited. No, 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 it's, so, it's not circumventing. <laughs> okay. It's not circumventing, really. It's, okay, let, no, let, no, me, no, look. let me find a, a better word. Yes. A policy mm -hmm. cannot replace a law. Mm -hmm. Is that a better word? <laughs> <laughs> now, now I, I think, uh, you know, we have to maybe introduce another word here. Yeah. Even governments have to be pragmatic. You have... Uh, and violate the law. No, not violate. Government cannot violate the laws. You know, that's, that's but a But they have. No, no, no. They have not. In fact, don't be a judge here. Of, 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 of what government... Well, I have read single no, no, sourcing. No, no, no. I have read the criteria. If you no, want, no, I can read no, it no, out for but, you. But I, the criteria uh, for single sourcing, Dab and it's Mr. quite Dab clear. Dab well, let me tell you, single sourcing exists in this world. In fact, if I single... I absolutely know. That is no, why it's in the Act. No, no, but the Act uh, okay, specifies why you. it's justified. No, let me tell and you. And circumstances. Let me tell you something. That there are always situations in this world, even if you have the laws there, situations in these laws that outpace the limits of those laws. And you have to find ways and means of, you know, amending these laws, improving them to accommodate new situations. I mean, in fact, I can, I can even but give you an example. No, let, let, me, let me give you a famous, uh, uh, you, what I can just remember. I know, you know the society lives and the laws ought to live with it. Live society. with it and expand. And, I agree completely. You know, I, I, and, I'm, and, I'm not going to dispute and, that. And I, I have been in this sector long enough to know that there are times you have to single source. There are times that uh, you, you have to... Uh, within the know, confines of the law. Yes, within the... You have, and that's why we had to write to GPPA to tell them that we are planning... After the project to, was done. No, no, project has not even started. But that's what you told no, me, no. Yeah, Now you are telling me what but I told But I can it. tell you, I can read it out for read, you. Read, I transcribe read, your no, statement. No, no, yes, transcribe and uh, read it. What you said yes. to National Assembly yes, members yes. was that in the, in the area of um, PP, uh, EPC, mm -hmm. tendering is not... Uh, is not a customary practice. Can I see what no, you... No, this is a draft story I wrote, but this, <laughs> is, this is, it, no. it's a quote, it's a quote inside it, no, but I, no, I, I think no, I just Okay, entire... anyway, you are quoting what I can remember saying, but all the same. Mm. Now, all, all I'm saying, mm. 
you know, you don't accuse somebody of a crime. If, no, I am not. No, no, look, look. If the intention was not to commit something that would harm people or harm society, what we are simply doing, and I don't know why there is so much uh, controversy over it, is trying to fix a problem. That's all. Mm. And Absolutely. why and, and, and trying to fix a problem? And if you go there today and see that the problem is not being fixed or is causing harm, then you can, you know, be justified with all these uh, discussions that we're having about you didn't, you are circumventing this. You got now we even if we were circumventing, mm -hmm. we were not doing it to harm Banjo. We are trying to improve a situation that is very very bad. Mm -hmm. Yes. The Justice Ministry, they looked at this. Yes, they what did. What did they say? They, 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 they gave us advice of what to amend here, what to change there, what to make sure is in place here and there. Yes. And you did those? Yes, we did all those things. So that means mm -hmm. the current contract document and the credit facility they that are, exists uh, is approved by the Justice Ministry? Yes. It's, approved and, uh, and, and they have shown us all the loopholes, so to speak. When was the project signed, the document? About May, somewhere around May, early May, maybe around 11, 12, I can't remember, but May of this, you about were, two, three months ago. You were not worried that you were putting the card before the horse? No, I am never worried. In fact, But I, you had run the project in February? Effectively no, no, awarding. no, there are many aspects to a project that we have to understand. You, you know, like uh, we wrote a cabinet paper. In fact, the critical thing was we wrote a cabinet paper which was approved. And then the president, after that, had to launch the project, and he, which he did. And launching a project is just calling the community and saying, no, we intend to do this and we are working on the details. That's all. That's what it meant as far as this ministry is concerned. The president launched it and showing the intention. The launching means it's awarded. No, no, no. no. That's another word. Launching and award are two different words. But you launch no. a project first, minister. No. You award. No, I conceded in the <laughs> earlier argument. Yeah. The, the launching, mm -hmm. you award a project. Mm -hmm. Then you come and launch. No, 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 you don't have to do it that way, uh, Mr. Dabo. Oh, this oh, wall oh, okay. is, is, is not like, you know, pam, pam, pam. Well, you know, I'm not works minister. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, I'm uh, just that, a, a project has all kinds of dimensions. It has social dimensions, political dimension. He has legal, contractual dimension, all kinds of dimensions. And they don't have to be sequenced as you think. I mean, what was enough? was for us to take the project to the highest body, which is the executive, that is cabinet, argue it, and they say, okay. In fact, they didn't award the project. In fact, I saw you saying cabinet award. award cabinet didn't no, award I didn't the, say the cabinet. No, no. The it, cabinet approved the award. No, no, you project. said, okay, let me read what you wrote, which you signed. Yes. We have learned that the budget project was awarded to guy by the cabinet. That's what you wrote. I underline it because I know that it's maybe a misstatement, mm. but cabinet didn't award the contract. What did the cabinet do? Cabinet uh, endorsed our proposal. Mm -hmm. So we are the ones who awarded the contract. Cabinet doesn't award But contract. cabinet made the decision to award the project. No, they endorsed the proposal. Hmm. Now, to award a contract, there are many, many other steps that has to be fulfilled before you award. And we had to go through those steps. Like what does launching of a project entails? Well, it could entail all kinds of things. I mean, uh, for us, launching a project so far means maybe the politician or the president, uh, after being, uh, you know, uh, after he's comfortable that this project will take place, will bring the community and say that we are going to do this. In 2019, when but, you... But when, when you, you look at the contract document, yeah. the award date is different from the launching date. It's always different. No, in, 20, in 2019, mm. February, yes. when President Adam Abaro was giving a speech, mm. he said this contract was awarded to Guy Enterprise, Guy yeah. Construction. 
and guys manager mm -hmm. spoke at the event you at have the, awarded it at, at the at the launching yes uh, the president let's not said argue the about <laughs> launching and awarding i am just telling you that launching does it mean awarding is different but in this you case you can launch a project when still you are working on the contract i mean d details they are, you, you know before you sign because for me you award a contract when both parties sign you understand and before both parties sign there are conditions that each party has to fulfill. But by 2019 mm. February, yeah. you had already made up your mind. That of the course, we have made, yes, done. we have made up our mind, but it was That's not the point awarded. I'm driving at. No, no, the point. Your mind, if yes. you made up your mind, mm. and even the president said it was awarded, mm. it yes. was awarded to mm. guy. Mm. Yes, that and, and means you have already agreed to the terms they have laid. No, that, well, you know, this is as you now I, I would put to you. This is all semantics. But really, the process, I'm, I'm describing the process. I am not fighting over words. I'm just telling you the process. The pro as I said earlier, a project has different dimensions. So, so let, let's yeah. put it this way. Mm -hmm. You are fine as Minister of Works, who is, um, uh, cares about due diligence with like, experience decades. You are fine with a project being awarded to a company mm. and later working on the terms mm. and agreements. You are fine with that process. <laughs> it's always happened that way. I don't, I don't, That's how it happens. It, it always happens that way. In fact, you can abort a, a contract by one party not being able to fulfill a certain condition. Mm. You abort it. it. It does happen. Is this project alone? <laughs> well... The project, I mean, as I keep saying, is not a project that we, 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 we have the money for. So we are using the word pre-financing. No, but is it a loan? No, no, wait a minute. Because a loan is, is something different. A loan is somebody giving you money and then there are interests and there's this and all kinds of things. I'm just saying that pre-financing you know, in other words, we agree that, look, we are entering into a contract with you, and, but we, we cannot pay you until one year after. And you say, yes, uh, that's fine. I mean, I'm going to pre-finance it. And, and your, your Before National mm -hmm. Assembly members, mm -hmm. you told them mm -hmm. that we don't have money for this, and you told me too. Mm -hmm. And that is why Guy is going to give you this as a loan. I said loan. I didn't ever say no. Don't use the word loan. I have never used the word loan. But this project is a loan. <laughs> no, oh yeah, it's your opinion. It no, is, no. No, 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 the there, no. These are, are now we are it. talking about semantics. Now this where the semantics is. The we is are saying loan. we are saying that we agree with you to pre-finance it. So that's not a loan. I mean, it's different from a loan. A loan is something that you give somebody with interest. Okay? No, there it, are loans that are without interest. It's, called, it's not called loan. It's called a credit. Okay. So yes. this is this is this is this <laughs> this has interest, right? No, this has no, no, no. There's no interest involved. Um, yes. So let's mm. let's go. Let's go through your statement. Mm. Um, this is not the entire of it, mm. but there was a. This is a statement from from where? It's a statement you've made to National Assembly. Yeah. Um, you've told them. Can you read it, Baba? Um, so that I know what, what, what I said. Um, so you said the central government through Ministry of Finance mm. is fully committed to finance the project as outlined. Mm. However, an important component is to assist B BCC to, but the Ministry of Finance mm. is committed to finance the project, mm. right? You mean, by that you mean the guy would first... Pre-finance. Pre-finance. Mm -hmm. And then the ministry finance it. Pay. Pay whatever he's done. That is uh, confirmed by Studi International. Studi International. Yes. You have not mentioned them. It's as if they no, don't I, exist. No, we will come to the Studi International. But in terms of uh, loans, mm. um, this is going to be an amount of money you're going to owe to a particular company. Mm. You don't consider it loan. 
Well, really, we are getting into this, but I will have to admit, mm. I am not the expert on this. And I have to emphasize that this contract is in two parts. They are complementary, but they are completely separate. And the negotiations were even separate. The technical part, which is the EPC, and we are responsible. The financing aspect of the project, I think maybe you should have an interview with the Ministry, Ministry of Finance. Because this, yeah. if you look at the uh, Public Finance Act, mm. and it, it specifies laws, uh, it specifies how a loan mm. can be taken. Mm. And under this particular mm. project, which mm. I'm going to ask myself. Now, that is maybe something that the Ministry of Finance is in a position. More mm. in a position. When you were presenting the mm. cabinet paper, you didn't realize. Or they presented their own cabinet they, they, uh, That aspect is their baby. They to tell you the truth. their own cabinet Yes. I, yes. The, 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 the financing aspect of it, you know, uh, whether they are right, they should. And uh, what I know, by the way, I know that uh, the intention is, whether it's been done or not, the intention is for National Assembly to have full visibility of this project, whatever the stages. But it should have been approved by them in the first place. We don't, it's a loan. National, no, no, well, you, you're saying it's a loan. I can, I can judge, read you the act. No, 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 no. You, uh, read the act to I'm finance. I'm not a law, but <laughs> no, no, I'm not a lawyer. Read the law to, it's well. So, it's so basic. No, no, yeah. no, wait a minute. I am certain that a lot of the time, a lot of the time, the Minister of Finance will enter into agreements, into loan, and then take it to, to the National Assembly, not before, but after. They negotiate it, they will talk, and then they will ratify. They may have their concerns, but as far as I know, most of the loans, even if it's a grant, even if it's a grant, eventually it will be taken to the National Assembly. And this one is, was not? Was never taken to that. No, 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 wait a minute. Don't say never. In fact, this I was, just started. I was, I am no, no, this there. just started. I'm sure it will be taken there. No, but That's the what I'm telling is you. It's ongoing, Minister. No, I'm, I'm telling you, please ask. Most of the time, you know, most of these loans and these things, the project that the executive is doing, it doesn't have to be pre approved before things happen. Okay? Um, so, um, If you look at the credit facility, you look at guys' financing plan, uh, it's not there. Well, anyway, as I said... Guys did not provide any financing plan to the government. Well, you know, I, I, I know you are wrong, but... But how I'm am I wrong? wrong? No, no, I know you are wrong, but I don't want to delve into, a, situ into, a, into a part of the contract that's not under my view. How you. do you know I'm wrong? Because I know that they presented a plan which is part of a the financial facility. financial plan? Yes. Why is not part of the credit facility? I don't know. Because I have a credit facility. You have the credit? I have the contract as well. Yeah, I did. Yes, so, and, and Guy didn't present it. No, what what did you there. call it? The credit facility. Yeah, did it? Says, uh, the credit facility says, yes. a part of the schedule says, mm -hmm. Financing plan of the project attached here to mm. as Schedule 4. Mm -hmm. And if you go to Schedule 4, mm. it's a blank page. Then maybe you don't have the complete document. I have the complete document. No, no, please go and check. I'm just advising you. Go and check. Don't insist. Please check. But what does the complete document look no, like? No, just check. I, don't, oh, I just want this you to... Copy. No, you have no, a copy. Let's, you let's go through. No, 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 and made a lot of statements, and I'm sure they were adjusted. I don't know what know copy about, you have. I know about what the Minister no. of Justice said. No. This is signed. By the way, do you know by that? Mozart. By by, do you know, by by the way, do you know that? This, this is a public document. No, 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 wait a minute. Ah, let me give you an information. 
Do you know that the originally signed facility agreement was revised after? Did you know that? But this one is No, from no, wait. No, when just was say, it revised? No, just say, do you know? I'm no, telling you now, I'm telling you now when? that the World Bank, no, no, not the World Bank, sorry, the IMF made some statements about, that, about the, uh, the, 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 the facility the facility agreement. Facility. Yes. And what did and they say? No, no, look, I, I just don't want to delve into it. But I think you should. I'm definitely advising you given your statements that you should go to the Ministry of Finance because I know that there were some statements made by the IMF about the facility agreement. And they they where did it? Uh, don't put words in my mouth. Please, I'm just giving you information. I'm that, grateful for it. Yes, that there were some adjustments made and most likely you don't have the final document. Well, this one that I have. When was it dated? Well, this one that I have. It's mm. May, uh, May, as you said. Yes, May, yes. yes so May. I think, okay, my advice is, uh, my uh, advice is, it, because May was, I think it was 14 May or so. The what? one that you're holding, maybe. Both your okay. documents 14, are May. 14 May, right? This is not 14 May. It's 14 and thereabout. But it's May. I know the EPC was signed 11 May and then after the facility was signed. But I know it's been revised. So please, the I'm asking you... The facility has been revised. Yes, the, uh, the document has been revised. So please... When was go, it revised? No, I, look, I don't know. I don't know. I just know that it's been revised. I don't know those details. When? So please, what I'm advising you, go to the Minister of Finance and ask them of the latest. And this how did you is, get this, this document, is, this is by the, the way? Copy. How did this you get is this the document? Copy. This is the copy. No, no, I, I'm going to ask you, how did you get this document? I'm a journalist. I'm supposed so, to so, have this. This document no, should be online. No, no, I'm, I'm asking how. I'm not saying you should not have it. I say, well, how I, did you get it? Of course, journalists don't disclose their Okay, sources. then go to the same person and ask for the latest. Uh, so, okay, um, okay we, 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 because Now, I, please, I have is, to. Now, look, uh, I don't have the whole day. Yeah, I know. I yes, appreciate please. And, and you, I appreciate uh, and very you much your time. Four but, questions. Yeah. But let's let's put a time to this. Yes, absolutely, yes, yeah. absolutely. And I yes. appreciate. Yeah. And so we have your time. five more minutes or so. And, and I appreciate it. enormously yeah. your time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I've spoken to a lot of people um, mm -hmm. who are connected to this government, some in government oversight institutions. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning of the interview, you told me that the government does not have money to pay. That's why you go in for this pro project. That's why you go in for this arrangement. Mm. But you will be paying, you are supposed to be paying based on the plan. Guy construction, over $300 million in February. I, I, I think I have tried to explain, but I don't think you want to listen. So um, please, mm. when it comes to about the payments mm. and the money aspect, Please uh, refer to. No, my point is, no, how no, is no, there no, not no, money no, when no, you are no, paying no, someone no, look, million no, no, we, I, There are two agreements here. I am responsible for one. Let's keep, because I, I know the nature of your questioning yeah, now. Yeah. So I would like to keep to the ones I'm competent to answer. Yeah, but you so, told me at the start mm, of the interview that mm, the reason why you went for the arrangement yes. was because there is no money. Yes, I told you that. So but I'm not denying that. Guy in February, no, ask that. Dollars. I am not paying. Finance is paying. Yeah, but the Gambia taxpayers. No, for a ask that. You ask have that to yet. Guy. Ask that to the Minister of Finance. Why? How they are going to do it? Okay. Then means there is money. No, no, but ask that. I, I cannot answer that. Please, can you respect me at at least? In that in that manner. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. And I'm very grateful for yeah. your time. Yeah. Um. So, but if you look at the, the contract, the credit facility in itself, uh -huh. and you look at the, you look at clause 6.1 and clause 6, it said clause 6.1 of the credit states that the loan is to be paid through a five-year financing plan. But if you look at the credit facility, uh, the same um, contract which you ministry made, Six schedule six of the same document source that the payment is spread over a six years period. It there is quite a contradiction of one year plus six years, uh, five please years ask, and six years. No, no, please ask uh, finance. No, this is not credit no, facility. No, no, this no. one is the contract your ministry made. 
It now, seems it's being now, lost. Now, okay, maybe there's a mistype or whatever, lack of coordination. But to confirm, in fact, that year has even changed, I can tell you. I don't want to tell you the number of the years. The year has changed. changed yes. The year so of that's no, why I of want years. you, the number of years payment has changed. So uh, that's why I want you to update yourself. The five years, six years, all of those things have changed. I can tell you that. But then, you can confirm this with Minister of Finance. Um, and also, mm. you to pay him in dollars, strictly. That too has changed. Please, that too has changed. Uh, please consult with finance. Well, how about his risk? The risk that, um, because if you look at the contract, mm. which you claim now mm. has changed, mm. Um, the contract limits the liability of guy to 5% in respect of damages. All that's those not too risky. Have, that's, all those things have changed. All those things have I changed. I think you are holding a very old document now. Is it very yeah, old? Yes, yeah, very old, since me. Well, but this is what you've submitted to your oversight institution. You have to I've respect... I've seen their copies. You, you have to respect mm -hmm. me, at least. Now, I think you have been confrontational. No, no. And you I've are not listening to copies. me. Look. I am giving you information that you are holding something that's out of date. And please understand that. Because you are basing all your questions on something that's out of date. I'm just realizing it. So if you look at the agreement, it shows the government will buy the plants and materials for the contract. Now, uh, who said that? It's in your credit, it's in your program, uh, agreement. That we are going to buy equipment. Yeah. Plans not, and materials for the contractor. Who said no? You, that's not true. Schedule that, seven point seven. That says what? That says this agreement also it shows that the government will be buying by plants and materials for the contractor. I want to see that. Well, I want to see that. Well, it's in your document. Yes. It is in your document. Let me, let me see that. Then is no more a, an EPC. And please, you have three, two more minutes. If you look at ownership of the plants and materials, mm -hmm. each item... Ownership, you said. You said purchase. Ownership of plant mm -hmm. and materials. Yes. Each item of plant and materials shall, to the extent consistent with the mandatory requirements of the laws of the country, become the property of the employer earlier of the following time, times, free from lines and encumbrances. Mm -hmm which is delivered on site to the site when the contractor is paid the value of the plant and materials under sub-clause 8.11. Mm -hmm. Yes. When the contractor is paid the value of plant and material. Yes. If we pay for the plant, we are not going to pay any because plant. Because you're going to pay for it. <laughs> My friend, before you... You said you, each no, item no, of the plant no, and material no, no, to, look, the you, to the extent consistent with the mandatory requirement of the laws of the Mister, country. Mister, become the prop Mister you, you, you have to be a lawyer sometimes to understand these kind of statements. Well, I the, admit the, I'm not the, a no, no. If you look at the bill of quantities that, in, in fact, the payment of this contract is going to, I can simply describe it like this. This government is not going to pay for anything in that towards that project if it's not in place as works and confirmed by study. You also, Period. You also we are not going to pay for plant. We are not going to pay for materials. We are not going to pay for anything. That's good to know from yes. you, but that's not in no, the contract. No, what you, you read, you don't understand. You don't understand in the event, in the event that government gives the uh, well, pays for the contract it. No, 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 look, look, you are misinterpreting all, all over the place, these things. The government, if the government uh, pays for a plan, it remains its property. That's all what it's saying. The government is not going to pay for any plant. That clause is just saying that. That's all. It's not saying the government is going to buy a plant and material for this it project. It says to an extent no, consistent no, 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 no. with the laws of the country, the government... No, no, Mr. Dabo, I think uh, now so, we so, are... We so are, we how are, about, let me keep no, you no, for please, just a minute. Uh, no, just a minute, yes. please. Just a minute. Um, if you look at um, um, the contract again, guy can subtract, sub, subcontract all of it, all of the work. <laughs> That's what your contract says. I can read it out for you. No, Mr. Please, I know that whatever you read, you don't understand. 
there is a limit to how much he can. So in fact, there is a percentage that he cannot exist, which I know every contract how has. How much is that? About, I think it's about 20% or so. But every contract has a ceiling, and this cannot be an exception. Do you know that the government, um, guy construction was a subject of a query by Janet Commission? Now look, I, I don't and want that to the please. Janet Commission no, 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 please. But you are a government official. No, look, look, I am privy to what the Janet Commission is. In so fact, you are comfortable am, with them. No, with no the wait government. a minute. Let me let me learn. Let me learn. I know that I, I was one of the people who discussed the white paper from the Commission. In fact, you see, can you take a look up there? All the volumes of the Janet Commission is over there. I appreciate that. Knowledge. Okay, okay. But I have it too. No, no, let, let me tell you. And in that white paper that we discussed, where people were sanctioned, where people were supposed to be written to, where uh, properties are going to be seized, uh, uh, all those concerns I know. And Guy is not one of them. But, but no, no, the company, no, the company, no, no, just, no, just a no, minute, no, just a minute. No, no, the company, no, no, don't the com go somewhere the, that the I don't first, know. The first, no, this and one, in this fact, one this you commission know. even no, came the, after. No, this one you know, because this company mm. was single sourced also the renovation at State House, the mm. one you mentioned. Yes. It was so, also single sourced. So, so what's wrong with that? It shows a consistent pattern no, no, Mr. that this company Mr. No, Mr. had been winning single source projects. Because it's the only one with the capacity. You have destroyed all the companies in this country. Jamie did. Gambians so don't exist. Gambians. No, and let me tell you something. At least I know, and I've been there and I've been articulating it. The biggest investment that is taking place in this country year after year is on civil works the biggest investment or the biggest loans we are taking in this country has always been in civil works, roads, you know, not so much buildings. And you know how much Gambians access? 5% of it. Because we don't have the capacity, we don't have the representation. So we have to make we have a deliberate to, policy to No, no, wait a minute. We always have to bring in people from outside and it's very expensive. Do you know how much it cost to build one kilometer of road in this country. One kilometer. It's 25 million dollars. 25 million. And you know why that's, why it's that much? Because all the operators in construction of civil works are foreigners. And that's why we don't have too many roads. Out of 4,000 kilometers of roads in the country, only 800 kilometers are paved. Why? Because we don't have the local capacity. Now we want to build that capacity. We want to encourage our own people. We want to encourage anybody, any Gambian. Let's, let's no, le no, let me learn. Any Gambian who is developing the capacity to have plants and to be involved in this project, we are going to encourage, even if it means soul sourcing them. And I am not guilty of that. And I am not be cornered or feel any qualms about that. I'm telling you, because the only way we can move this country if we rely on our own capacity. I mean, come on, we are 54 years old. We are still indebted. We are still poor. But you are taking us... No, no, wait a minute. And all these procedures, we are here. And people are saying we have to follow them. These do IMF, World Bank, they are all over. But they have been here. But the are still No, been look, look, I'm just telling you that we have to think outside the box now. And we are ready to. And we don't mind these questions back and forth. But I'm telling you, these are the motivations we have. We have to move between ourselves. We have tried the other way. It has not worked. So I don't know what the beef is about, guy. Finally, okay. finally you're yes. not worried. Yes. You're, not, you're not worried because um, Janet Commission on its policy, on its report, the volume saving on procurement, mm. uh, they categorically said they've not had any evidence that the works done by a guy in the previous years had actually gone through followed procurement rules. That was a consistent pattern. Mm. Barrow came, President mm. Adam of Barrow, mm. single source, the 2017 construction, you referenced at the beginning of the interview to them. Mm. This one too, the same. 
This is consistent. That? This is, it seems the only thing they want are projects that government single-handedly give it to them. Many people are asking why. What's the motivation? Because they have the capacity, my friend. As Is that the as only are, reason? No, no, no. That's far as we are concerned. As far as we are concerned, they are the only garden company that we know that has the bulldozers, the back hose, the trucks, the water pumps that we need. That's the only reason. Okay? There is no other reason that we have to tell you the truth. I'm just telling you the truth. If there is an other one, yes, let them come in. Um, you've talked about oversight institutions being involved. Of course, it was public knowledge that the mayor of Banjul did confront you on the street, that they had no knowledge of it. Until now, the mayor of Banjul said he has no knowledge. He has no knowledge. Well, that's, that's another thing which is unfortunate. But I told you earlier that when the, that letter came from Office of the President, one of the first <coughs> person I called was the mayor, and she sat over there. You must have been disappointed, she said, out well, in the public. Well, that you know, she's a politician. So for me, I'm a technocrat. In fact, that, that's why. You think I she didn't, did it because of no, politics? Well, uh, let me just learn. That's why I thought I should not exchange things. Because for me, politics is one thing, but this country needs technocrats as but well. But NRA also claims to have been excluded. Of course, you saw the board late, the board, the board chairs later. And that's and NRA. That, you think the board, the board chairman is the NRA? No, it's not the NRA. But when I called, know my when I called Mr. Senghor, no, no. when I called Mr. Senghor, he told me go to works. They are no, the no, people no, no. in charge. No, no. Yes, and it's true. We are in charge. You didn't we provide the, any information to me. To to him. Yes, because he has none. No, so you are saying I'm lying when I say no. That. I didn't say no. No, that. wait a minute. I started by telling you we form a uh, working group, and that working group NRA was there. But if your colleagues so, are no, saying no, no, wait a minute. What the colleagues are saying is their business. All I know and all I, I mean, their, you know, uh, records that you can follow. That when the September letter came and we started in earnest to do this project, in earnest, all of them were here. And it's not only one meeting, it's several meetings. So for me to be in Banyul, trying to make our mayor the face of this project, and she refused, is another thing. Do you understand? But my intention in that, me in that encounter was to make her the face of the project. What's the state of the project finally? The right state now? of the project is that what we wanted to do, what we wanted to avoid, we have accomplished. We didn't want Bayou to flood this year, rainy season, because we know that if it had flood, and given the state of disrepair of the sewage, there would have been a complete mix up there, and the potential for cholera outbreak. That's what we want. Now, if you go, now, to Bond Road, you can see that all the waters that were supposed to be retained in Banyul is now in the Bond Polder, which we are pumping out. At least for this period, what we wanted to do, we have accomplished. Banyul is not flooded. Thank you, Honorable Minister, for this opportunity. Thank you. Dana, did it, did it. 
ci lutto gaming gambi bi la lal darna ko lal na ci ludi waaw nga dafa am quartier am kente am cherse wa manam nak tay ji kente bi la te jak pot be passé xaliss kente moy lan kente manam moy juroomi fassi waaw benen bi am nak quartier moy moy ñenti fassi ak cherse ya tay nak xaliss bi da gëna yok lu tax jak pot beulé dañ ka tegat ci bi manam juroomi fassi boko jappé ci ordre moy risque nga désordre bi sax day fay hmm ah yoy mom non la démé da ngay dem nak ji amna luma yakar gis na sien sien ki kess ku yu ndaw yi ci bi dekk bi mais dal dama ni li mom amul xaliss tan ci def sa xaliss da jël wéc ci rek sandi ko fa xol jëmbat la ah la ilaha illallah yow yow li nga wax ni tay ji bu yalla dogalon ma gagné ko lu mu gatt 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 fim tolni bo gagné won won 100000 dalashi waaw lu may def waaw noy def xam nga sama xarit nga waaw damay fexé nga ray say non ci nan lu mu gatt gatt 50000 dalashi waay eh eh tierno 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 wo wala bilas lan la lu xewni sabay gay deena sam bab gay lu ko ray 50000 dalana ko boma gagné non ci lima la yoni dama ko koy jox mu daanu li sama xew man waxu mako mo waxe won la ko non yow la ko waron informer nak yow ya ko gagné ka ga gagné jappon
Bonne journée. 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 B